Hello again everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back to our Star Wars Lovecraft crossover in RimWorld. When we last left off, we had some trade, these are going to explode at some point at an inconvenient time. Uh, we took out a poison ship. This is still making noises, despite the fact that we have, uh, supposedly... They can't... What are you doing? No, 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 no. Prioritize hauling this dead... Are you attacking the boomalo? Ignore it. Prioritize hauling that. Go on. Get out of here. Get out of here, Joss, you crazy old... You crazy old man. We're... Wait. Did you die and you didn't explode? Alright. Okay. So I assume all of these are going crazy because of the continued presence of that hole. Uh, this dark young is the last dark young on the map. We'll probably want to go ahead and kill it. That'd be a, a smart idea, probably, maybe. Are you crazy? Maybe? No? Well, just uh, don't go crazy on me, man. That's all I ask. Still haven't done anything with this. Uh, I haven't got some of those useful mods that have been suggested to me. Because I'm probably lazy. That's That's it. That's most likely the case. Wowzers, we, uh... Alright, well, we do, uh, yeah, we do have, uh, these blocks set to, uh, you know, make some blocks. Uh, exhaustion, well, yay to... Oh, you're wandering around like a crazy person still. God. Anyway. Well, oh, and Margoa has nothing better to do but mine? Really? You, uh... Well, at least Yedo is okay, good. He's he's sleeping off his anger and his starvation. He's still wearing terrible clothes. He's not he's not dressed up in cool clothes like the rest of us. There we go. Who left a fine meal lying around over here? That's a good question. Anyway, Yedo, you uh you do you, man. And uh yeah, you eat that. Yeah, without a table, that's that's just wonderful. You're gonna get even more mad, aren't you? Aren't you? Some pain, joy deprived. You'll be fine, walk it off. Anyway. You know, I kind of wonder sometimes what the colonists think about this. Just, like, there's no private bathing or anything. It's just, you know, everyone goes to the bathroom and washes in the same communal space. Oh, a good sculpture, made of wood. A solitary solidarity. This sculpture bears a depiction of an elephant rolling on the floor while burning while nearly naked. Nearly naked. Alright. He seems to be barely conscious. His eyes are lifeless. There is a tree off to one side. The very static structure of the image almost conflicts with its classical style. This depiction tells the story of the elephant catching fire on the 1st of April, May 5501. I, uh... I don't remember that happening, but, uh, okay. Got a rainy thunderstorm. Better than a dry thunderstorm, to be honest with you. I mean, we got all these nice clothes. Why are you, uh... Why are you wearing a parka? That's probably part of your problem here, first of all. Get rid of that parka. Oh, you are wearing a... Jedi thing. Alright. Now, what, what are your skills again? You can stab things. Trade caravan is leaving. Life, uh... Life is going pretty nicely here. We've got this nice, uh... Got a nice pack going here, really. I like it. This is uh, still okay. We're getting some maintenance going. That's good. Yato is no longer going to be uh, going to go crazy. That's good. Uh, let's see here. We got all these. We got uh, we got this. Also, the undrafting issue. That's apparently like a very real thing, and it it's apparently it as far as I can tell, its design purpose is so that if you forget about your pawns. While drafting them, they'll eventually undraft themselves and stuff. But, and this is a never weird thing that apparently, like, it was the case... A solar flare. Oh, dang, gummit. Anyway, apparently this was the case where, like, in an earlier builds of the game, like, before I started playing, you got an alert when you had pawns drafted. Like, just a little alert down here. And that got taken out or something. And, like, there's apparently been some changes, basically, in how you get alerted to these things. Be honest, if there is any combat at all, 
it'd be nice if uh, our pawns would not, for any reason, un. Uh... Am I still trying to recruit these things? Maybe I should stop. I mean, we do have. Well, we've actually only got free boomalopes, but I mean. I'm gonna pay attention to Sorn here, because once he's done, I want him to go ahead and go back. Okay, you have also failed. Yeah, before you do anything else, I want you to haul this steel. There we go. Work on hauling stuff back. Eventually, we'll. Someday, we'll bring these Imperial credits in. Not sure what they're going to be good for, but... Oh my god, we're actually finally doing it. I really should design this so that it's just impossible to... to get, uh... Get, uh... Like, to put non-good weapons. You know, good being kind of a relative term, really. Oh, cancel that. And build another copy, like so. There we go. Yeah, and this will be the armory. I yeah, might as well dig it out a little bit more. Just so we can fit an extra one, an extra set in here. And, uh, yeah. Then we'll just kind of smooth out the walls. Like so. Assuming we can reach them. It might actually be a problem. Then we'll just uh, smooth out the floors, put in a bit of concrete here, and here, and here, and here. Seems right. Also, something's getting murdered. I don't know what it is, but I heard something getting murdered. So, uh, you know, that's a thing. Alright, so... Wood shelf storage. Let's kind of let things go slowly while we're... Something just, uh, exploded there. Um, let's see. I guess to start with, let's just turn off everything. And we'll, uh, we'll turn things on... Like, as, uh... Like, I guess we'll allow lightsabers. Let's lightsabers go in there. There we go. Lightsaber pike. Oh, it's somebody's birthday! Wait, 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 I think birthdays are bad. Yeah. Redmo's got a bad back, so we'll just rip out his spine, put a... Put a good old-fashioned, uh... Uh, thing in there. There we go. Got a bionic spine, that's what I'm talking about. All kinds of grenades. Um... Various blasters. Yeah, I guess these main cannons. No great bows, incendiary launchers, ion thingies, uh, miniguns, slug throwers. I mean, I suppose I should be a little bit more careful with this, make sure we only get, like, the high, highest qualiber. Qualiber. That's a real word. And then we'll copy settings, paste settings, paste settings. And once those are built, we'll also paste those settings. Alright, so yeah, we're kind of... No one can reach these walls now. It's not going to happen. Anyway, the important thing at the end of the day is that... Uh, that uh, yeah, we've got a nice... Uh, this is going to be a nice armory going here. It's all going to... It's going to be very nice. Very, very professional. It's going to be the best... The best armory. And I'm actually going to just cancel of this, but I am going to continue with the smoothing of the floors. There we go. Alright, so we'll get some we'll get some good weapons in there. I think these slug throwers are explosive. Are they? What are they? Projectile, gangster Nim and his gang, dense slugs, causing blunt damage. It doesn't sound like it's going to be an exploder riser thingy, but, you know, it'll it'll do its work for us in in time. Probably, maybe. Uh, more importantly, perhaps, yeah, we've got all this, we've got these, we can break down those. Um, as far as research is concerned, yeah, we got our circuit breakers. Oh, I suppose that's why we're not getting, like, double people working on things, because, yeah, we only got so much. 
11. Hmm. Yeah. We've got all kinds of stuff to work on. Also, Credmo is leveled up again. That's good. We'll uh, start getting the defense going. As good dodging is probably more important than good uh, and blocking. Because that seems to, for the most part, be able to get us more damage and just more overall uh, killing power than like actually fighting by ourselves. Though the fighting is also good. Don't get me wrong. Alright, uh, Soren, what are you doing? I don't know, before you clean, go ahead and haul. It isn't Soren, aren't you supposed to be doing more hauling? Yeah. Yeah. There we go. That'll, that'll uh, take care of things, I think. I want to haul things before we clean things. That seems seems like a good idea. All right, so that's uh, that's that. I suppose if I really want it, uh, I'd have to deconstruct it in order to do so. But if I really want it to be like super efficient, I could probably get rid of this, get rid of this, get rid of this. Oh, this I can reinstall. So get rid of these two, and then install this. Put this in between this and like then another high tech research bench, and then. Uh, we'll be in, we'll be in business. Plus, uh, it would give us more to do with uh, these things here. All right. So life is going rather well, to be honest with you. Rather well indeed. Uh, that can be unforbidden, and someone should clean up in here. Yeah. We got all kinds of work to do, and it's good. Keeps us busy. Keeps us, uh, keeps us flowing, man. That's, uh, that's a good thing. A very good thing indeed. Yes. And I'm very happy with our colony, to be honest. It's, it is a nice colony. And got some nice work going. To be honest, actually, since we're producing so much power, maybe what I should do is get rid of some of these. All right, now we've got circuit breakers. That is exactly the best, the best of the best. This thing, up to 3,000 watts. Nice. Let, let's put two of these in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I actually need three of these in order to be completely sure That uh, you know stuff won't explode on us. So let's uh, let's do that, and we'll uh, build some more granite walls here. And yeah, probably something like this. We could. Well, I, I'm not gonna put a door on it just because I figure I don't think these produce that much heat. But just to be safe, just to be safe, it feels right. You know, it feels like the right thing to do. So let's see, 18 degrees, 32 degrees. Yeah, it stays nice and cold in here even without air conditioning. So that's good. That is very good indeed. And like, given given how long, how big this set of tunnels is, I am, I'm mostly confident that if there were to be, really, you, you dug one thing and then you're leaving. All right. Your life, man. Anyway, so yeah, it's all working out basically is what I've got to say about that. And let's see here. Let's make sure we've got to... Uh... Yeah, so... Oh, let's uh, copy, copy, copy. Okay, good. Excellent, we'll build these. Yeah, we're getting our, we're getting our high quality guns mostly in here. Um, let's see, am I, am I limiting the, yeah, normal or better. I might want to actually even raise, like, the minimum hit point level it needs to have, but, eh. That does seem like it would be, you know, a bit, uh, a bit of work. A bit too much work for my liking. So we won't worry about that, and we've got this, we've got this. It's all good. 
And then whenever uh, whenever we actually do get an invasion, we just need to set this to be held open. Of course, then again, we don't seem to be getting a lot of uh, random animals wandering through here anyway. So I could probably leave this open unless we get like a manhunter pack and then we just close the doors. Probably want to close these doors, actually. But, you know, at the end of the day, it, it all it all works out. And that's all I care about. As long as things work out or good and no one is dying. Who who wants people dying, right? That's just That's just bad news right there. What is this? Paranoia. Argoa has become disoriented. That's not good. Argoa, you're supposed to disoriented senses. I feel like that's new. Um, it also occurs to me, I guess since Krieg has, uh, wait, I thought you developed a bad back. Well, I guess because you can only fit so many, so many traits. Or no, no, never mind. Bad back is here? Um, Krieg. Hang on a second. Yeah, it should say that he, it did, was it, it was Krieg, right? Let's see here. You're missing a hand still. Did I ever get around to making you a new hand? No. Okay. Sorry about that. We'll need to get you a new rib. You're okay. You're okay. It did say Krieg, right? I'm sure it said Krieg. Wow, you're... It's getting kind of... kind of scary there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, you've got anxiety, which is being treated. Oh, it was... Credmo developed the bad back. Credmo, you're a Jedi. You're not supposed to have a bad back. Use force heal on that back. I mean, I know it doesn't work that way. Dang. Wait, how old is Credmo? Oh, you're 57 years old. Oh, no. A raid with relationships, huh? Imperial soldiers, Galactic Empire. Prepare for a while, then attack. Let's see here. Credmo giggles. It's always a giggles. Is Credmo's lover. Uh, Bowman is Jax's nephew. And uh, Mal is Jax's brother. I can already tell Jax is going to have a very bad, bad time. And they're even landing in drop pods. All right. That's, uh, that's interesting. All right. Let's uh, say hold open and we're going to restrict everyone to the safe zone at this point. Try to keep everyone inside. All right, everyone. All right. We finished terrain rehabilitation. All right, I mean, with a bad back, do I really want Credmo, like, fighting on the front lines? I mean, I guess I... Wait, where'd they land? Oh, there they are. All right, let's see here. Well, this is, uh, this is gonna be interesting. It's not really surprising. Smelly. Jeez. The names these people give each other. Oh, you're Force-sensitive, Merc. Got your lightsaber stuff there. And you're on the path to the light side, apparently, for some reason. All right. Okay, so we gotta try to get Merc, probably. And never woman! Why is the Force being so sexist and not giving me men, men, uh, Force shooter people? It's a conspiracy, man. It's a conspiracy. And, you know, I could probably, you know, go on some kind of satirical rant about social justice warriors and all that jazz. But uh, that seems like you're be getting borderline too political for this channel. And plus, also, I feel even if you're making satire about, you know, the kinds of craziness that goes on when you bring any kind of stuff like that in, um, you know, I think I'm not good enough in my ability to do satire to create a story that would uh, not result in horrible, horrible stuff happening. I'm going to restrict puddles to the pasture for now. And uh, Credmo, you're going to go here. This is going to be your uh, your new lightsaber -y position. You don't have a gun. Sorn doesn't even have a weapon yet. Interesting. Okay, Credmo is coming in. Alright. Anyway, yeah. 
Just pretend I said something clever about how how the force is being sexist to us, and you know, we'll we'll go from there. Just pretend I was clever. Make me feel good about myself for a second as we prepare for this most glorious of battles. Good, you're hauling stuff. Whoa, 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 whoa! Why is this Pila in here? I specifically said no Pilas. Did I, uh, did I specifically... Oh, wait. Paste. And paste. That, uh, that fixed that, right? Yes, okay. And just to be safe, paste. Okay, good. Alright. And, uh, let's, uh... That is pretty cool. I like that. It's, it's much thinner than, uh, Margoa's lightsaber. Oh, yeah, didn't I? build a double-ended lightsaber for Margoa, or I was working towards that goal. Oh, we never even finished it. Uh, Rice, Rice, where are you? You are our, like, master crafter, right? You're good enough. Here, prioritize building this so we get the, like, little stabity-stabity thing, and then we can make the lightsaber thing, and, you know, so on and so forth. All right. Animal starvation? No! Cephonian larva! How are you? Why? Why are you starving? Why won't you go home? You, sh you should not be starving, Cephonian larva. You're allowed to go anywhere and even a little bit into the kitchen. And you know what? I'm hearing noises upstairs, which makes me think that I should probably, probably wrap this episode up right here in a very, you know, cliffhangery fashion. Uh, just to make sure that Ace has not got into anything that he shouldn't be getting into. So, I'm going to wrap things up here. Till the next time, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below to let me know what you're thinking. And I will see all you in the next video.